It's beer o'clock on Real Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Brixton Brewery and it's a bottle of the Electric IPA coming in at 6.5% ABV and 60 IBUs. So a big, what well it should be a big punchy IPA then. Looking forward to it. There's the, the red bottle cap. Let's get the beer out into a glass, see what we get. The beer was kindly sent to us by craftedcrate.com. Nice bit of smoke on the opening. Craftedcrate.com. Check the link out in the description of the video. Ten beers for thirty quid. You don't know what's coming at the end of every month. They source the beers for you, and you get a surprise. So it's like ten surprise beers every month that get to you. They're generally very, very good. There's a look at the beer. One to two finger white head. Golden amber coloured ale, nice levels of carbonation rolling up the side of the glass. This looks lovely, quite a clear amber coloured ale. Typical IPA in the glass, this is looking like. Let's get the aroma. Oh yeah, that smells really good. Punchy, grapefruity. Little bit of orange in there. Clementine. Nice sweetness. Smells good. Let's dive in. Cheers, everyone. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows. What a lovely, lovely beer. 6.5% ABV. Drinking fantastically well. It really is a juicy, punchy fantastic IPA lots and lots of punch ball fruits sweet orange bitter orange spiciness grapefruit kiwi fruit mango little bit of green apple oh blimey this is good lovely and tasty it just it's juicy I love that about IPAs there's no real dryness to the beer it's just juicy and refreshing and the moment you taste it and you drink a little bit of this beer and all that then flavors kind of hit you you just want to get back in and have another sip and I like a beer like that, don't you? Somebody on one of my videos um, spotted this beer up in my beer cupboard and they were like, you have to try that Brixton Electric IPA. It's really good. So I kind of pulled it to the front and went, yeah, okay, let's get it done. And I'm pleased I have, to be honest, because yeah, I agree with the person. I can't remember, I'm terrible with names. Uh, one of the users on, on YouTube there commented, fantastic beer then. Glad I tried it. Lovely carbonation, it's juicy. There's some biscuit malt coming through as well. It's, there's a nice bitterness on the back end, but it's not overdoing it. It's it's more New World IPA. It's more lots of lots of flavour first. Um, big punchy orange, grapefruity, kiwi fruit flavours. There's some mango in there, as I mentioned. And then the bitterness comes on the back end. A wonderful beer. Wonderful, wonderful beer. Inspired by Electric Avenue, uh, the beating heart of Brixton, our lively IPA is an assault on the senses, much like its namesake. This beer is all about the interplay between malt and hop, the perfect harmony of sweet and bitter. Electric is assertive but deftly balanced with a solid backbone that rolls into a lingering hoppy finish and it's an American style IPA. Fantastic, let's give it a rating. Brixton Brewery Electric IPA. Looks good, great lacing on the glass, smells good, and of course, tastes fantastic. Let's give it a rating. I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. It's a nine out of 10 from Reload Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom, and cheers.